I don't know what to make of Uchu Sen Cosmo Carrier. It's a game where pretty much the sum total of information on the net about it is, this is a game that exists. The various wikis I checked had it basically as a stub. I found a couple blog entries where people just mentioned that they beat it. I didn't find any videos of people actually beating it though. Nothing that was useful for walking me through playing it. I didn't have a manual or any kind of guide. The best information I had was a Famitsu article that was a preview of the game before it was released. It's not even that people hated it, it's that nobody cares about it. I put a lot of effort into figuring out just the basics of how to play, and in the end, it was not worth the effort. In the game, it is the distant future of 1999, and just as Nostradamus predicted, the moon is being crashed into the Earth by aliens from their battle station out beyond Pluto. That's not a joke, that is the actual story. For some reason, the six parts of a super missile capable of destroying this alien planet have been scattered among the planets of the solar system. And it's up to you as the captain of the starship Cosmo Carrier to collect those parts and destroy the alien world. You start out in orbit around Earth. You can see different vessels flying to and from the planet, the moon whipping around the Earth at high speed, and if you scroll all the way to the right, you'll see Mars. To do anything in Uchu Sen Cosmo Carrier, you have to move your crosshair on top of it, and then press A. Whatever you have the crosshair on will freeze, though nothing else will. And then you can select a command. Missile and beam are used for attacking targets, and you can attack just about anything that's not a planet. Beam always does 4 damage and takes 4 energy. Energy is your ship's lifeblood, and when you run out it's game over. Naturally, anything you do costs energy. So the beam is a weak attack, but it's also low cost. When you fire a missile, you have to choose how much energy to put into it. At level 1, it maxes out at 16 points. And you do roughly one point of damage for every point of energy you put in the missile. At higher levels, you can put more energy in the missile. You can attack just about anything, but that's a bad idea because a lot of the friendly ships have information that you need. So for those, you highlight them and hit communicate. The computer option will give you details of whatever you have highlighted, including how much health it has. The computer can also repair your ship if you've taken damage to any systems. Back on the other side, we have Shield. That'll protect you from some enemy attacks, but it costs about 10 energy per tick. Since it drains your energy super fast, much faster than you take damage from enemies, I'd recommend leaving it down, at least until you've leveled up a couple times. Parts shows you which missile components you've picked up, and Status shows you what's going on with your ship. Then we have Move, and this one's a little bit complicated. If the cursor's on a distant body, like Mars when you're around Earth, and that will transport you there at the cost of 100 energy. You start with 500 energy, so that's actually a pretty big expense. If you've selected something like the Moon, or Mars while you're in orbit around Mars, you have the option to land on it. And then you're given your choice of three different vehicles. They're the Gravity, Blizzard, or Field Suits. I didn't see any difference between them, but I did see information that on some planets only one of the suits can operate. Once you land on the planet, you get to walk around and explore. So it winds up being very similar to the space segments. The big difference is that you hit A to switch between controlling the cursor and controlling the robot. If you put the cursor on top of an enemy and hit A again, you go into the submenu, and it works just like it did in space. Enemies can drop things as you explore. The most important thing to watch out for are these E's, which recharge a bit of your energy. You can also find this token, which raises your craft's level. A major problem with Uchu Sen Cosmo Carrier is that it's very easy to get into a dead man walking state. Warping when you're targeting the Earth is how you can recover all of your energy and get passwords, and early on, that's really your only option. So if you go to Mars and fall below 100 energy, which you need to warp back to Earth, then your game is done. 
Similarly, you can blow up friendly craft that are required to complete the game. Unsurprisingly, I didn't manage to collect a single missile piece. I know there's one somewhere around Mars, I just couldn't find it. Uchu Sen Cosmo Carrier is a weird game. I think the thing that bothered me the most in it was how you select something and it freezes, but everything else keeps running and attacking you while you deal with the interface. It's like the game wasn't entirely sure what it wanted to be. Is it action-driven, or is it strategy-driven? Not that it really matters, because it's bad at both of those. These days, I suspect that most people who encounter Utu Sen Cosmo Carrier will load it up in an emulator from a list of ROMs, look at it for a minute and a half trying to figure anything out, and then give up and move on to something else. I'm pleased that I managed to penetrate the game a bit further than that, but it isn't really that much further. I've read it's an easy game to beat, but it's one I don't think I'll ever go back to and try to complete it. There's just nothing there. <laughs>